Hello and welcome to Midnight Guard Gaming. I'm your host, Mid, and we are playing Grim Dawn. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm on a little bit earlier than I had uh, planned to be, um, my normal time. Um, just trying to get my camera lined up here. All right, there we go. <laughs> um, if you hear a dog barking in the background, it's one of my annoying neighbors who basically likes to put their dog out and just let it bark like crazy for no apparent reason and ignore it. Much to the frustration of every other tenant in the building. Um, okay, just check and make sure everything is up and running okay. Looks good, all right. Um, yeah, I'd hope to actually game a lot more today, but uh, due to family stuff, I would I had to take care of some other things, um, so I was unable to get on. Um, but I am on now, so uh, I'm hoping I can get about three hours of gaming in today. That would be nice. Um, been really enjoying Grim Dawn. Um, it's a lot of fun so far. Um, so let's just jump right into it then. All right. Just wait for it to load now. There we go. All right. So we are going to we're. 20, 22nd level sorcerer, so demolitionist arcanist. Alright. When we left off, I was getting close to killing the warden in the prison. Uh, the warden of the prison. It went way too long last night. I was trying to get to him before I decided to call it night. I'm like, okay, usually I only play in like hour chunks and then take a quick break. It's like at an hour and a half and I'm like, okay, I got to right outside where he apparently is, so. Um, Alright, so we don't have to sell anything. Do I have any points available? Let's see, that was uh, P? No. Uh, S. No points available. Alright. Um, I need to redo this. What is... I gotta look at some key binding options because just to get to my map is kind of annoying so i need to throw that on something else okay so what is switch weapons w uh, what is q and e drink energy okay so what is q is there anything on q codex window I don't really care about the codex, so we're going to switch that with the map window, because at least I can pop down there and look at the map real quick with my finger. Um, I don't need that quick of access to it, so all right, so we're going to make that one Q, and we're going to make that one M. We'll just switch them. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. Is W? Do we have anything on W? Switch weapon. Okay, that was switch weapons. Okay. All right, I think we're good. All right, let's do that. Yeah, good. Now I can quickly switch to that. Take a look. All right, excellent. That's what I was hoping for. Um, all right, so let's get. Oh, gotta get my buffs on. Dead bastards die. All right, we are up in Warden's Laboratory. Laboratory. Okay. It's right through there. Um, I'm gonna go back in. Yes. and get some eight free aether crystals let's see Yeah, I heard about this where it's like, okay, yeah, you can get it. So that's four Aether Crystals right off of one of the uh, five. Mm. 
right, let's get five aether crystals. Yeah, that's a nice easy way of uh, farming aether crystals. Just go back to the uh, one waypoint right here. And you can get five of them within the span of like a minute. So yeah, now I'm up to 38. Awesome. Free XP for reading the little books. Oh, another poison room. Great. <laughs> Easy XP. So yes, I'm nowhere near the warden apparently still. This is a really, really big lower area. Ectoplasm. They apparently can sense me through the walls and target me, but they don't realize that their stuff is not going to go through the walls. around the deceased okay or the betrayed through there. All right.
Yeah. Okay, back in here. Alright, back out into this main area. Okay, an interesting blood curdling scream going on there. I do like it that you have the ability to shoot down on enemies and they have to run to kind of get to you. Looks like there are more um, aether crystals available there. Rifts or whatever those things are that I have to destroy. Yes, funnel into my cone of death. Just out of range. Damn, this is a huge complex. little hidden area semi hidden kind of like that you find little fun places like this oh, 
Nice. Inventory is My full. inventory is full. Oh, darn. That might make it a little easier. Read that. Okay. 300 XP. Take it. Is that? Uh, no. Nothing important. I got room. All right, let's look at these. Uh, nope. Nope. I don't care about any of those. Nope. I mean, I do better some lightning damage. How much damage am I actually doing? What types? Oh, I'm doing fire. So, yeah, that's actually is completely useless keeping these pants on. Do aether damage and lightning damage because my attacks aren't doing that. They're doing fire. So it's actually better to have those on. Attack speed is king. 12 movement. Interesting. Got some decent resist. Let's just throw that over there for right now. Uh, yeah, none of this other stuff is very helpful to me, so... Back to town with us. Iron will spit. Yep, been in both of those. Head down here now. Oh, that sounded really strangly and stuff. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone laying on the ground there like a dead guy who's green and not dead, really. Whoa. 
Dead people. Man, they got some creepy sounds in this. I like it. All right, so I have not gone up there because it was blocked. Well, we're exploring and uncovering everything, so let's just keep moving then. Lots of, lots of bad guys. Okay, I killed him, and apparently I have to kill him multiple times? Okay, here we go. Interesting. into here. Only place to go is this way. Or only way to go. Oh, yep. Could have gotten to it through both of those rooms. All right. I apparently was not observant enough to notice that. Up the stairs it is.
Note Collector. Achievement unlocked. Oh, more, more Aether Crystals. Yay! Zenbrandt the Ascended. This is only the beginning? Okay. I can get in here. Is there anything in here? Nope. Uh, itch. Ugh. I have a feeling the big iron doors are going to be to the boss. Just, just call me silly. I think that's going to be what happens. So if that's the case, let's go back to town real quick and sell all our junk. Interesting. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, we got thirteen, four, four. Okay, a few more points in there. We'll do that. And. Canist. Yeah, we'll do that. One more point to get in there. All right, let's go fight the uh, warden. Yeah, that. If this is the warden, finally, that is like an hour past when I thought it was going to be because of my meandering around and exploring. All right, here we go. Doing some good damage now. Oh, the warden, okay. Okay, I need to get away from him. Heal. Why won't you die? Ow. Ow. And when I'm 
done with you, I will crush your friends at Devil's Crossing. Die! There we go. Now, I will demonstrate my true power. Oh, crud. Yep, keep moving. That skill's not ready. Ah, move. Ow, 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 ah, uh, heal. Yay, okay. Whew. Supreme spoils. It's oh, a lot of stuff. And there's a warden's chest. Heretic's tome. Too bad I don't really need offhands, but all right. Tainted brain matter. That is going to come in handy when I create... Um, I get my rep up. Uh, that is... I got to get up to respected. And I will have a, uh, access to a recipe that will allow me to do dual wield pistols, which is what I want. Um, and that tainted brain matter is one of the items that I need to create that. So we're gonna hang out of that puppy. Um, okay. Rare chest. Oh, the offensive ability is nice. Electric, I yeah, don't care. Lightning damage, don't care. A little bit better resistance. Oh, that's a lot more stats. Alright, we're going to wear those. Oh, I can't wear those. I need level 24. We're going to hang on to those then. Um, Alright, I guess we'll keep that one then. Um, don't, you can use those. Um, yeah, I have no idea what I would use this for. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start saving blues just because I'm inevitably going to probably roll some other characters in this game, so at least I'll have some gear I can throw on them. So why not? I'm just going to start saving the uh, blues. Um, 
Yeah, I just need to save these items here. These ones I'll save. Why carry them around? I'm not going to swap back to them. So, all right. We're back to Captain John Bourbon. All right. Is there anything else I can snag down here while I'm here? Here's some glowy stuff on the ground, but all right. Looks like I am done. All right. We'll take off back out here since I have a portal already up. Okay. See you around. There's John Bourbon. Let's go up to Carlisle the Smuggler. Yep, we're just gonna throw all this stuff in here. I tracked him down and took his life. The Warden's defeat is a great victory for us, nay, for all of humankind. But there are many more ethereals out there, some much more powerful than Krieg. Perhaps more disturbing, though, there are those of our own kind who would see us dead to take what little we have, or just for the pleasure of killing. Among the innocent who passed through this prison on their way to Krieg's lab were many violent criminals, murderers, and worse. Many of them escaped to the northwest after the grim dawn forming into ruthless gangs who prey upon drifters still traveling the roads. Since a river separates us and them, they have not been a problem thus far. Except we need farmers to get back to the business of growing food before we all starve to death. The farmland that supplied this region is to the northwest, and we need to secure a hold there. Mornay recently returned from Old Arcovia to the northwest and can give you details on the outlaw situation and what needs to be done. I realize that you have been through much in recent days, but we cannot rest just yet. I'll speak to him. Mornay. So you must be the kid that's causing a stir in my absence. You've done good by dispatching Krieg. I knew that man in life. I dread to think of what he had become as an ethereal. Captain Bourbon said to speak with you about the outlaws. Aye, an old mess has come back to finally bite us right in the ass. The river's kept them at bay for now, what with a broken bridge. It seems the bastards have garnered a taste for the one hole in the world they were once so eager to escape. I'm not going to beat around the bush. We're at war, and if we don't take the fight to them, they will surely bring it to us. I'd much rather fight on my own terms, wouldn't you? What's the plan of action? Before we do anything, we'll need to get that bridge repaired. Got men ready to do the work and some scrap to get you started. Just need to provide the remaining raw materials. Once that's all finished, I need you to enter the Arcovian foothills and show those bastards we're not a prize for the taking. Last I saw of them, they were mobilizing for something big across the river. Why don't you head on over there and introduce yourself? What happened to your expedition to the northwest? I set out with another scout, Elsa, to reconnoiter the lands to the northwest shortly after we had secured Devil's Crossing. What we found was a wasteland overrun with predatory beasts, blood-hungry psychopaths, and refugees living in constant terror on the run. Our mission together ended when a vicious band of outlaws surprised us in the night. Elsa had argued against having a fire that night, but I was sure we were concealed. I wasn't cautioned enough, and she paid the price. I thought I could protect her from anything, uh, anything, but when it came to it, I was felled by a bullet to the ribs before the fighting even broke out. Elsa fought on like a devil, taking down two of the outlaws before they knocked her out. They took her with them and just left me there to die. Um, I wouldn't give up. Uh, I couldn't give up, though, knowing those thugs had Elsa. I hobbled and crawled, trying to make my way back to Devil's Crossing, but arrived only to find that the bridge had been destroyed. 
I collapsed in despair and thought it was the end of me. I awoke some time later in what remained of a little fishing village on the coast. A band of rovers had found me and treated my wounds. As soon as I could stand, I grabbed a din uh, dingy rowboat and made my way uh, a dinghy rowboat and made my way across uh, my way back to Devil's Crossing. I'll be damned if I'm going to abandon Elsa to torture or worse at the hands of those killers. She's all I've got left in this world. We need to organize an offensive and get every and every second counts. Don't you think you're mixing personal vendetta with this? Well, I don't have a choice. Uh, the Grim Dawn took my wife. Elsa is like a daughter to me, and I'm not going to let her uh, let it take her too. The way I see it, Devil's Crossing needs this situation resolved as soon as possible, and I want those scum dead for taking Elsa. Seems our goals align, eh? Very well. So, nice. That took a huge chunk out of what we need for our rep with them. Uh, quartermaster. Uh, respect it. So this... Where is it? This is what I want. The Gunslinger's Talisman. Uh, the volley part down here it says, uh, under granted skills, volley granted by item, unleash calculate volley bullets at your target. This is a ranged dual wielding or dual handed technique that activates off of default weapon attacks. It also enables the ability to dual wield ranged weapons. Level 25 and Respected, which I am getting damn close to. So I'm only two levels off from that. And I need about 1700 rep. Of course, I should be keeping my eyes out for decent one handed weapons then. And we're not going to talk to you again. Okay, so this bridge once connected Devil's Crossing to the Arcovian foothills to the northwest. It or it must be restored before you can cross it. It will take six scrap and three thousand iron bits to repair. Well, it just so happens I have forty-eight scrap and sixty-six thousand iron bits, so I think I can repair it now. Kill Edmund Edmund Shanks Doyle. Ronley's gang. Am I getting rep every time I kill Cronley's gang? Alright, I'm at 1731 needed. Yeah! I just kill every bandit I come across, I'm going to be doing all right. I'm just going to kill every bandit I come across. That's going to definitely be helping me with my reputation then. Edmund Shanks Doyle. Yo, 
You'll pay for this, Kolf. Darius wants this prison, and when he finds out what you've done, Edmund spits up blood, you'll wish I shanked you dead. Rest in peace, scum. Okay. Can't kill you? Okay, fine. I'm getting all my scrap back. Let me go back out here. I'm gonna search around over here real quick. Okay, blocked. So my understanding is, from what I'm reading, is the maps stay the same. Uh, they're not random. And they just throw these roadblocks up every time you, like, zone back in or whatever, like you uh, restart the game or re-enter the game. So it's like, oh, that's kind of cool. So between sessions, it's like, yeah, it's, you, you can kind of keep the same bearings, but you also have to approach things differently because you're not going to be able to take the exact same route every single time. So that's kind of a nice mixture, in my opinion. I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. Kind of cool. Explodey time. Boom. Oh, geysers of blood. Well, that's an impasse. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Ooh, gives me fire damage and burn damage. Um, yes, I am going to take that. Oh, that's cool. My helmet's on fire. That's awesome. Yeah, losing a lot of life, but hey, health, that's fine. Another good movement speed one. All right, we're gonna hang on to that. Yeah, I need a, I need attack speed, man. That's what I need. It's cool. My not only is my gun on fire, but my helmet. That's sweet looking. That's pretty badass. It does actually remind me of. Uh, Sort of the demolition, demolitionist motif. Uh, what is my rep at now? Okay, sixteen thirty-five. So yeah, I've already gotten over a hundred points. So that's nice. Retreat, Arcovian foothills. Oh, all sorts of bugs and stuff. Oh, and a herd of wild boar. Stone tusks.
Oh, awesome. Attack speed. Sweet. Take those gloves. Um, piercing retaliation? I don't know what that is. Alright, we won't do anything with that one for now. Alright. Some people over here. Quest givers, I, I suspect. A plum reckon. Stefan Skinner, stand back. I'm burning this shack down. My family does not need to suffer any longer in this horrible world. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this your family in there? Are you insane? Or is your family in there? Are you insane? Stay out of this. It's for the best. You can't do this. Uh, look, things are bad. We can't lose help. hope. What hope is uh, is there left? Good people are dying and the world is overrun with monstrosities. We used to spook our children with. I will not have my family suffering any longer. Others have managed to survive. You can too. I come from Devil's Crossing. It's safe there. Let's go that. Safe? What's safe anymore? We were safe out here once too. Look at this place now. We defend it. There is a sh there is shelter and drinking water. Please join us. Perhaps this is the fresh start we needed. I really hope you speak the truth. All right, take us there. All right, I'll see your f uh, see you and your family get there. Open roof gate. Boom. All right, cool. Uh, all right, can't go inside there. Mark of Dreg. Bristly fur. Looks like we can cross that water, but I want to explore through here first. Those are some downright cunning pants you got on there. Not to be confused with a cunning hat. Alright, head back down here. That's where the guy's gonna set his house on fire with his peep his family in it still. Larkin. You there. Here, a dying man out, will ya? What happened to you? Uh, yeah. Backstabbed by my partner. Only man I thought I could trust on this forsaken in on this forsaken hellhole. We were traveling, uh, we were traveling, cart full of scrap we'd salvaged from some rundown homes, when I guess the bastard decided that splitting the profits 50-50 wasn't just, uh, just wasn't gonna cut it. He jumped me in the middle of the night and stabbed me right in the gut. Made off with all the loot and left me here to, uh, left me to die out here. 
if you run if you ever run into a man in a patchwork green jacket going by the name Isaiah, you cut him down for me. Will ya? I don't suppose he got too far down the road pushing the cart all by himself. Uh, I'll track down this partner of yours. All right, we're gonna go take his stuff. His stuff will become our stuff, and then we'll have more stuff. Ooh, secret area. Yep, always got to look out for little things like that on the map. This thing here, because they could lead to nice little fun secret areas like that. Aha! Uh -huh. Isaiah Redden. Who the hell are you? What do you want from me? Are you Isaiah? I'm here about your partner. That swine isn't dead yet. Let me explain. This is a huge misunderstanding. Uh, say what you want to say, but make it quick. Uh, I don't really care. Give me half the profits and I'll leave you be. Um, option C, save it. Prepare to face justice. Oh, uh, this is one of those interesting decisions I need to make sure I... Ah, okay, so we are actually, for the sake of, uh, everything. Um, if I kill him, I kill him. I can extort him and leave him be, and then he'll go back to Devil's Crossing and be a vendor. Or if I just say, choose this one, he'll go back and give me actually decent deals on stuff. So, alright, pick a, option A. Drew is a, worthless, is a worthless scum. This mess wasn't about the haul of scrap. That bastard tried to rape my daughter. Ooh, Josephine, when we were last camped out, I confronted him and he got violent. Rotting out there along the road is the least he deserved for trying to overpower a young girl. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry I rushed to judgment. Be more careful in the future. Uh, just give me Drew's share of the loot and I'll leave you be. Sorry, this all sounds too convenient. All right, so let's do, uh, sorry, rush to judgment. You can count on that. Travel safe, stranger. Farewell. Yep, you're gonna end up back at uh, town. That's fine. I'm I'm cool with that. Oh, aether crystals. Head to the hills. Only one bristly fur. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, a cave. Oh, and a mean pig. Oh, that's just silly talk. You're, you can carry more. Trust me, you can. You just haven't tried hard enough. What do we got here? Um... Meh. Alright, we're gonna hang on to the guns. Because I'm getting really close to actually being able to do a wield, so I'm like, I should start hanging onto some guns. I can always sell a bunch of them if I don't need them.
Um, alright, so we got... Alright, I'm gonna go in this cave, but first... Oh, hey! What we got here? Rotting corpse. Hey, let's go through his pockets. I can't carry, I can't carry anymore. anymore. Alright, so we gotta go back to town. Come see what's left of my wares. Magic pants. Wow, that's a lot of health. Um Yeah, let's do that. We're going to go into the cave. Actually, we're going to exit the cave. And we're going to take a quick five minute break. Alright, let me take a quick, quick break. I'm going to stretch my legs. And when I get back... We will play some more Grim Dawn, because, yeah, I'm having fun. This is a fun game. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's like, I, I kind of like that whole, like, just exploring vibe. It's just, it's really hitting a good chord with me today, or recently, so. All right, so I'll be back in about five minutes. <laughs> 